Hey guys, the very first thing you've got to do when you get to the auction is get yourself a copy of the auction catalogue and the auction running order. In these two videos, I'm going to explain exactly what both of those are. In the first one, we're going to take a look at the auction running order. What you need to do when you get to the auction is go into reception and pick up a copy of the day's running order and the catalogue and that's going to give you all the information about the cars for that day. On the left hand side it's going to give you the time that the auction starts and it's going to give you also who is selling that car, whether it's a leasing company, whether it's a big car group or whether it's a private seller. It will also tell you which hall the car is in and there might be multiple halls at the auction centre so it's important that you make note of these and then it's going to give you a lot prefix and what the lot prefix will help you do is find the car and where it's located for that day so you can go and do a pre-inspection on the car. It'll also tell you whether it's BCA assured or Mannheim assured or comes with any assurance and it gives you a few days uh, to bring the car back to the auction house if it develops a fault that your auction house hasn't declared. So it's always wise to buy assured cars. What it means is that it's had some form of inspection by the auction house or by an independent company such as the AA. So it's really a good idea if you can to stick to assured cars and that's my top tip for this part of this video always choose a car that is assured to minimize your own risk. It'll also tell you how many cars are entered for the day and there might be a couple of hundred cars, there might be a thousand cars and it'll tell you how many cars per haul. Thanks for watching my video. Why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you enjoyed the video, please do give me a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. If you've got the time, leave me a comment below. I respond to all positive comments, so it's a great way to talk to me. There's also some more videos for you to watch below, and you might want to come across to Twitter at flipping underscore cars, or check out my Facebook page, facebook.com, flippingcars.co.uk. Speak to you soon.